Hello, this is Lynette, and I thought I'd give you a little tour of my new-to-me studio. Um, I guess I've been here about two and a half months now, and I'm digging it a lot. Uh, hopefully you can stay here a while. Um, so I'm just going to give you a little tour of some of the new work that I've been working on, and uh, tell you about some of the upcoming shows going on, and uh, hopefully you can make it out to some of them, and if not, get a little preview here online. So this is my studio, Studio Six. Um, as you can see, it's in a it's in a shared building. Lots of other, um, I guess there's about six or seven other studios here. Um, although so far I've only I haven't met anybody else. I think there's two other people here right now, but I haven't met them. Maybe one day. But anyway, this is Studio Six, and I share it. So this is my space. This is a little under a thousand square feet. And I share it with uh, my band, Green Cathedral. They have one half of the space, and I have the other half. Um, it's been pretty cool. I can rock out down here. In fact, my other band, Red Mask, was here uh, just this past week, getting ready for an upcoming show on April 27th at Orion Studios in Baltimore. But as I said, Green Cathedral normally rehearses here. And this is my space. I've set up my um, wall panels to house some of my newer pieces before they go to shows. Although I currently have 12 works at the Yellow Springs Art Show, which is in Chester Springs, Pennsylvania. That opens on April 27th and runs for two weeks. So if you get a chance, you should definitely go check that out. I've got some, I've got four larger works there, uh, including some that are very large, and I also have eight miniature paintings. So now I'm going to talk about a few of my newer pieces. This is my brand new work, Sparrow Song. Um, as you can see, I've started to work round. This is actually created with two panels. The bird part is on a 12 inch panel and I put it inside of an 18 inch panel which I then uh, continued doing artwork on to kind of incorporate into the picture more. I'm pretty happy with that one. I plan on doing some more in that style. In fact, I've got a couple panels right now being gessoed up and uh, the background stained. This is a little bit smaller. The, uh, the Yellow, smaller yellow panel, it is 10 inches, and it's going to go inside this panel, which is 16 inches. And when I'm done with that, I plan on doing even, maybe even a larger one. This is also a new piece. This is actually the first artwork I did when I got here. It's called Chasing Clouds. As you can see, it's got two Canadian geese on it. And uh, although I like working in color a lot, I've been kind of getting into monochromatic tones lately. I kind of like just relying on the design elements to really bring the artwork forward. A lot of these pieces are going to be going into some upcoming shows, including the uh, Chester County Studio Tour in May, and also the Delaware, sorry, the Montgomery County Studio Tour in June. These are my county collectors for the show. This is the, this is for the um, Chester County Studio Tour. It's all wrapped up, ready to go for that. And this is for the Montgomery County Studio Tour. The county collectors are six by six inch artworks that each artwork that each artist will have on the tour, and they go for seventy five dollars, and they're on a first come first serve basis. So if you're interested in that, you should get the to the studio tour. As always, you can read about my upcoming shows on my website at lynetteshelley.com, L Y N N E T T E S H E L L E Y dot com.
the past six months I've done several turtle paintings and each one is sold and then so I kind of made some more and they all sold and so now this is my last turtle painting that I will be bringing out to the studio tour. Maybe I'll make some more and I also of course made this little one. I'm also going to be probably uh, vending at the Rehoboth Art Festival in Rehoboth, Delaware this summer in August so I made sure to make get some beachy works available too including this pink flamingo. That was a lot of fun to do. Here's another new work that I created within the past uh, uh, couple, uh, maybe a month ago. I made it sometime in March. Uh, this is called Neighbors. I was trying to do uh, actually both these pieces as focusing on what might be considered nuisance animals uh, or pest animals, um, but are actually pretty cool creatures. So this one is a raccoon or a trash panda, as I like to call it, along with a rat and a raven or a crow. Sorry. And you can see all the dandelions and the moths and things like that in the background, which I like to do. Lots of detail. And uh, this is called Mother Load, which is a possum. And possums are actually very good for the environment. They eat ticks and they do not carry rabies, contrary to popular belief. And I'm going to leave you with one more artwork here. Um, this is pretty new as well. I'm oh, sorry, I'm going to do two more artworks for you. Um, so this is, a, this is a painting about monarchs. And I wanted to kind of emphasize the disappearance of some of the monarch species, um, which I think there's something like 85% of them have gone um, extinct. Oh, there's 85% less in the population than there were. And a lot to do with habitat loss as well as pesticides, etc. So this piece kind of explores that. You can see the monarchs here, but then in the background, you can see these white ghost monarchs representing the monarchs that have disappeared. It's another piece I did with a monarch in it. Um, I just finished this last month and it was in the, Meadow the ninth annual juried art show at Meadowood and it won an honorable mention. And then I did a Luna Moth, just because I really like them. All right, so let me just show you what's on the drawing desk for what's next, and uh, then I'll end this. So, if you know me, you know I like to paint rabbits. And uh, I've pretty much sold all my rabbits except for one. So I decided I need to have more rabbits because they need to populate. Because everybody knows rabbits like to breed like rabbits. So we need more rabbits. And it is April and almost Easter. So that is on the drawing desk. I probably will finish it today, but we'll see. As you can see, I like to use um, wood panels right here. Um, and I usually stain up the background with a lot of inks. You can see the types of inks I use here. These are really bold colors. And then I usually take acrylic paint and paint. You can see right here, this rabbit's not finished yet. I take acrylic paint and block out certain shapes with the acrylic paint. And now I'm going back over it with ink pen. Then I will varnish everything, make it nice and shiny, and protect it from sunlight. So that is my studio. I hope you enjoyed my little mini tour, and I did not ramble too much. And I hope to have a little open house here at some point in the future. So keep posted, keep going to my Facebook page, and uh, Say hello. Goodbye.